Hi guys, this is Kane with a review on the Yukon Futuras binoculars. I decided to do this review uh, because uh, I didn't see many of them available and none of them were in depth and most of them were not in English and uh, I think some of them are biased. So, without further ado, let's move to the binoculars themselves. Uh, Yukon has an entire series of uh, binoculars ranging from 8 to 24 uh, magnification. I think they also have a uh, 30 by 50 and uh, I think they are good enough binoculars for you to uh, be looking into them and maybe even buy them. So. Uh, moving to the manufacturer of this uh, series of uh, binoculars is called Yukon, it's from Belarus and they are not just making cheap binoculars, they are also making a lot of other optics um, I'm not saying these are cheap or they are poor I'm just specifying that they are uh, quite uh, into a good price range so they are doing night vision goggles, they are doing night vision binoculars, they are doing scopes for rifles, they are doing a lot of things and uh, Belarus is close to Russia and it's well known for their quality in optics for the whole entire uh, uh, Kalashnikov range of rifles and stuff like that. So they have a militaristic background and good experience with optics there. They are not to be underestimated in what they can do. <coughs> so, moving to the binoculars themselves, I'm reviewing now the Yukon um, uh, 8x24 magnification up to 50... 8x24x50 uh, 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 frontal lens diameter. I think I'm not an expert on binoculars, but 50 should be the, uh, the size of the lens here and 8 by 24 should be the magnification capacity of the binocular itself. Um, as a side comment, the size of the lens here combined with the magnification will give you the field of view. The more you zoom, the smaller field of view, the less you zoom, the, uh, the larger field of view. Now, uh, I'm going to focus on these binoculars but please remember that the entire Yukon's, uh, Yukon range of Futura's uh, binoculars are basically the same uh, optics with slight changes. So, <coughs> uh, moving further, uh, you can see here the back of the, um, of the binoculars and you can see that it's well made and I can tell you it's well made, it's padded, it's not just simple fabric, it will react well when you drop them and it's zipped, it will react well uh, to weather as well. The strap is not long enough, it's up to the hip, but less than the hip, so when you don't fall or you don't fall with your ass on the binoculars. So yeah, kudos to Yukon. They have a nice logo here. Uh, now moving to the bin binoculars themselves, you can see they are black, sometimes you see them green, but they are actually black. You can see that they are rubber coated, or I can tell you they are rubber coated, they are quite sturdy, and now they are folded into themselves a little bit, they are not extended to their maximum aperture between the eyes, or distance between the eyes. And let me explain to you a little bit more. Um, uh, this is like the central focusing wheel uh, that allows you to get closer or further away uh, with your zoom. Uh, also this is the larger knob that uh, helps you change the distance, the, the, the main magnification between 8 or 24 and you can also move this one here that allows you to change the different focus between the eyes. Uh, you know, you have one good eye and one poor eye and uh, you first calibrate your left eye and then you calibrate your right eye and then you can calibrate your focus to a particular distance that you are looking at because basically you are if you are looking at 50 meters away then you use this knob to calibrate your image as 50 meters and focus it. If you're looking at uh, 500 meters then you are using this to recalibrate your uh, clarity to 500 meters. I mean, you, you, you use a camera on your phone, you know that you have to calibrate in order to see at a certain distance. Mm, 
but of course the phone does it automatically now. Anyway, if you already have a Yukon uh, Futuras uh, uh, binocular, you'll see something is different in the back, and I'll explain later what it is. Uh, now here you can see uh, another image with the back strap. Uh, it's it's well made. It has rubbery endings and it's quite fluffy and spongy so that helps you not feel it when it's around your neck so kudos on that as well moving further away uh, this is the back of the binoculars if you can see them well now you can see that the straps are attached here internally that's nice and you can see that the back protection is also attached here good here you can see the different levels of magnification that magnification that you have on these particular binoculars and also you can see that they are made in Belarus so they are not cheap Chinese ripoffs or even I don't know mass produced binoculars they are good enough in my view uh, I love Russian made uh, things uh, that have tradition there they are made to last anyway now you see something here and you are asking yourself what the hell is this it looks kind of strange well these binoculars, like many other binoculars of this range and price, don't have here extensions for the eye. And I will explain later when we get to the particular image. I had to do this small innovation with some spongy rubbery protection um, straps, uh, duct taped with electrical duct tape here in order to have a better uh, focusing of the eye on the main view axis and also avoid light coming in from the sides um, bec some some binoculars have this that extends i mean if you don't have this you use glasses if you have if you extend this you use a normal eye these binoculars don't have it which makes it hard to get in s fast focus on on the binocular and also allows light to come from the sides and mm, it decreases the quality of the image a little bit because you are not focusing mainly on the frontal light so moving further away you can see here the frontal part of the binoculars with large uh, rub ray caps and also you can see here a knob that you can remove and you can put an extension here with a screw that will allow you to attach it to a tripod they don't come with that but personally I don't need to attach it because I need to move my head around so yeah I probably never use it this is the caps removed they move 360 so you can place them wherever you want you just push it back and extend it a little bit force it and it will drop into a position that will stay tight here and you can put it in such a way that you can keep the your hands on the binoculars here or whatever you whenever wherever you want these are the lenses uh, photographed without uh, 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 a flash and here you can see them photographed with the flash and you can spot the difference you can see the black coating around that helps uh, with the overall quality of the image and also kind of like a little bit of the um, uh, quality of the lenses and yeah the, 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 the that's Russian style made build and now moving back to the uh, innovation that I did you can see here the original edge and also you can now if you are look closer here you can see that I have some uh, space here uh, between these edges it, it's not uh, it's not a thin uh, rubbery spongy thing placed here it has some distance and that is because it has to sit on on the existing edge because when you are pressing your eye here you want to encounter some resistance uh, and you also don't don't want it to move so and the, the when you are cutting this you are cutting it to size yeah, okay you put it here you're cutting it to the size and then you stick uh, uh, to it the, the um, duct tape okay as you can see I stuck it just up to here and uh, you you don't cut the duct tape just to the size of the rubber you leave around one to two centimeters extra 
because when you place it and you keep your hand over it when you are placing it to have decent pressure here uh, you want it to make a good seal otherwise the 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 forcing may remove the duct tape on, on the rubber also don't put too much uh, duct tape around it because it will make it too stiff for the eye now when you are pressuring the, eye, the here the eye socket you will get some flexibility which you can kind of like see here when it kind of like uh, uh, got some marks but it, it's quite nicely polished and you know it will not affect your eye um, here you can see it better without a flash to the real colors and image you can see the small distance here that was originally there and you can see that this problem on many cheap uh, binoculars and you can see the difference of uh, of me placing this here and also trust me when you are putting this on your uh, on your eyes uh, it will speed the 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 the, the, the uh, calibration on, on the axis it will cut the light uh, it will be more comfortable and more easy to use and more pleasurable to use uh, overall so don't hesitate to innovate like this and if you are asking me what kind of rubber you use cane then I can tell you I used um, a simple rubber from the tool store it's a rubber that goes around sharp edges uh, or they always have like a stand where they keep all kind of rubbery thingies for protecting your house sharp edges uh, or protecting things that might be hit so what I did was I cut it here once with the scissor and here again so that left me with a decent uh, kind of like um, edge to put the duct tape and also uh, to have uh, the perfect filling around the eye eye socket, uh, I didn't want to use the um, spongy cut on, on next to the eye. I wanted to have something smooth that would easily be placed there, and I can easily clean it up. You can, I could have went with some rubbery stuff around it, but then again, I'm not sure how that would have looked and I wanted some flexibility when I'm pressuring my eye socket here I wanted to feel smooth and soft I didn't want it to feel like uh, uh, I don't know something strong or stronger I can tell you that because I put more duct tape here and it felt more stiff and it wasn't that pleasant to the uh, eye socket so I preferred uh, less uh, pressure and more flexibility Moving further away, this is another image with uh, the innovation that would certainly make it uh, worthwhile uh, buying this because it def improves on one of their main uh, functionality issues uh, that make them harder to use. With these things put on, it will be a lot more easier to use. Now, I'm not sure about the distance here. I kind of like guesswork it, but you can try twice modifying the distance and maybe it will you'll find whatever suits your needs I kind of liked where how they were and probably I'll not uh, remove them too soon I will preserve these ones in case uh, I want to go back and just make new ones and test them with the new ones just be careful when you remove the duct tape to keep your hand on the plastic here the original plastic so you don't pull or on the main uh, uh, binocular you know don't be careful it's okay to innovate but you, you also have to be careful when you're playing around with duct tape and other types of things that can pull on the uh, structure itself okay moving further you can see the s their sizes here I mean you can see the finger and uh, they are decent size you can see the cups go under those things that I put there and um, I don't think they have 1.1 kilograms so they are not heavy enough and I really liked their uh, uh, view range and also the, the, the quality of the light itself so 
ending this review I can tell you that they are solid uh, well made uh, Russian quality and Belarusian quality uh, binoculars they will keep you a lot of years I liked I test them I like them the image quality is natural uh, of course I kind of like tested them more with clouds outside or uh, dusk so I didn't have good lighting or X to make big lighting the the range of color is not into the rainbow size or the uh, high color side will be a little bit fade but yeah it will be fade like in nature uh <coughs> i tested them around any uh, uh, around uh, i tested them at one of my friends with other cheap uh, chinese uh, binoculars and they were way above uh, those uh, and yeah if you ask me again i would say go for the 60 by 50 or on the 20 by 50 if you want to see the scenery and enjoy nature go for the 60 by 50 trust me don't fall for the magnification go for the 60 by 50 okay if you love nature and if you want to spy on neighbors go for the 20 by 50 okay uh, don't go for the 24 and pay double for that and uh, have a more complicated binocular play less than $100 for the 20 by 50 or f for the 60 by 50 I hope you enjoyed this review and enjoy nature and since this this uh, binoculars are available worldwide yeah try to find them and uh, I kind of bet my money that you'll not be disappointed and for this price range you really enjoyed them and uh, yeah with this innovation that I did with the rubbery thing extended it will help you a lot it's it's that duct tape and some scissors and it's not that difficult for you to make yourself come on so and as you have seen it doesn't show only when you are very close and zoom in and stuff like that at a distance you are not spotting them if you look like this you're not spot even now that they uh, have that extension there and uh, yeah only when you put the flash and so and yeah hope this helped and yeah enjoy the binoculars have